Hey guys, Becca here with Basics by Becca, and today I'm going to show you how to create infographics in Canva. So infographics are a great way to create shareable content. You can put this on Instagram, Pinterest, or even insert it in your blog posts. And infographics do quite well because they tend to get shared among different people and provide valuable information. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can easily and quickly create one using some templates that we have in Canva. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you're going to do is go to your home page in Canva, sign in, and when you go to the top search bar, just type in infographic, and it should come up. Now, I have a Canva Pro account, so depending if you have the free account or the Pro, some of these might not be available to you, but some definitely will be. So if you scroll down, you can see that they have plenty of templates for you to choose from to create an infographic. Now, we're going to go in and create a blank one. So we're going to hit that real quick, and we're going to go and choose a blank one from scratch so here you see there's some different categories like timeline infographic charity all results here so let's choose one to work with today uh let's see i want to try to find a free one now so as you see some of these say free and those will be available on a free canva account so let's go ahead and let's go up. There was one I was particularly looking for, but I seem to not to be able to find it right now. Let's see these for you. Well, okay, let's go ahead and just choose this one. So as you see, we have the infographic here. Now, what I like to do is sometimes when you can go in here, change the text, you can change the colors. So here you go. If you want to possibly make this blue, you can go in and do that. You can maybe get rid of some of these icons if you want. So go and delete that. You can change the background color. So if you just go up to colors here, let's just like make this pink for now. Also, what I like to do is maybe add some of my own elements. So for example, if you go in here and you just search for, let's just say a flower, you can actually add some of your own elements. So as you see, some of these are pro, but there will be some free ones as well. And it would actually, these type can make uh, it a little bit interactive so if you go here just change the size a little bit and you can have a little bit of interaction right here on the top let's say if you're uh, creating a story so with the pro account you can even go in and resize so basically if you want to share this infographic as a pinterest pin or an instagram story if you have the pro account you can go to the resize and simply resize it to a Pinterest pin. All you have to do is click that and hit resize. Now you might have to change this a little, maybe make the text a little bigger, maybe stretch this out a little more so that it fits the screen, but you can certainly go in and resize these and share them not only on Pinterest, but let's say you wanna make an Instagram story or an Instagram post, you can go in and do that as well. And this is an infographic that can be shared all across the platforms that you choose. So I find that these templates are really, really helpful as far as creating social media reach and Insta and infographics, I'm sorry, infographics are actually do very well on Pinterest and Instagram because they're interactive and they allow people to really get a breakdown about what you are trying to teach them. All right, that's all. For Thanks now. again for tuning in and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and click the like button if you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.